So, 63 at Riviera. Where does that rank among the best rounds of golf that you've played in your life? <laughs> yeah, I think it's got to be one of my best days on uh, on the golf course, especially in a place like this and with this history. As Riviera Country Club is one of my favorite golf courses, and yeah, I think this this event is my favorite during the year. Did you feel this coming? Well, <laughs> uh, that's a hard question. I mean, you always you always work for to have these kind of days, uh, but yeah, I mean, you, you always know that you're not, never gonna have these days four days in a row. So it's a good way to start. I know it's gonna be different days during the during the week, so I gotta be ready for everything and have the best attitude for it. Where, where are you on the Saudi situation? Have you had talks with the, the Saudi back league? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't really wanna say anything, any any comment about it. I just, I just don't wanna say anything. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Sorry. What keep the round today? What, what was working? I think everything. I hit the ball great off the tee. Uh, my iron play. I was hitting it really close, so that make it a lot easier. Uh, the the greens were were pretty good also today, and it wasn't that windy. So yeah, I think the whole game was pretty good today. Does this change your uh, preparation for tomorrow or the rest of the week at all? Nah, I know tomorrow is gonna be a cold morning. Uh, gotta start hitting the ball good since the the beginning. Have a good warm up, uh, but yeah, I know it's gonna be a different day. Hopefully. It comes similar as it was today, <laughs> and it will be a lot of fun. <laughs> what makes this your favorite event of the year? I think it's just everything. I mean, the place we are at, LA, is beautiful. I like it. The course is, is one of my favorite. Just being here, being in a tournament hosted by Tiger also makes it a lot of, uh, really special. Uh, so, yeah, I think obviously we all all the top players top players playing this week, so that makes it a lot better also. Do you go out to eat on tournament weeks or do you usually go to the hotel on the golf course like have you been checking out the restaurants in LA nah the last I think the last year probably last year and a half uh, we've been renting houses with Carlos Ortiz now Mito Pereira with Sergio with uh, with Sebastian so we we always try to stay together uh, we we always try to get a chef so he can cook for us and we we can have an interesting night, we, we can have nice dinners, we, we can talk a lot. So we have a, a great time during during the time we are off, off the golf course. So it's, it, it makes the, the week a lot easier. Awesome. Um, I'm going to have you answer a couple of questions in Spanish, if that's okay. Yeah. Can you just talk a little bit about your round and how you're feeling going into tomorrow? Bien, fue una, obviamente, partir así la semana es el sueño de, de lo que uno espera de todo el trabajo. Pero, pero nada, o sea, sé que son días que sale todo muy fácil y hay que estar preparado para lo, para lo que venga mañana. Ya, ya pasó la ronda de hoy, fue súper bien sacar lo positivo, pero ya vamos a mañana a, lo que, a, lo que, a prepararse a lo que venga. Awesome. And you said you love this course. Can you talk a little bit about holding the lowest round ever for a first round score? Sí, es una de mis canchas favoritas, no solo porque Tiger es uno de los, de los hosts de esta semana, sino que la cancha, el lugar, el clima... Hace todo una combinación muy buena y hace poder disfrutar la semana con una cancha de esta calidad de, y jugar así de bien ayuda harto. Jaco, you spent some time back home in Chile. Uh, how much does that invigorate you and get you prepared for a new, a new year on the I think all the year in English, Spanish. Sí, a ver, eh, la temporada obviamente se hace muy larga, uno juega muchos torneos durante el año y, y al final de la temporada uno nota como uno se cansa más, uno es más se irrita más fácil en la cancha con los tiros malos, tiene otra otra actitud al juego y poder volver a Chile, poder recuperar energía, poder compartir con mi amigo, hacer cosas distintas, ayuda mucho para que esa energía en la cancha sea más positiva. ¿Por qué está aquí tu orthodontist? <laughs> sí, mi, mi dentista está acá esta semana. No, no, eh, that in English. I speak Spanish, you okay. speak English. My ortho, you say the dentist, right? What is she doing here? Yeah, so my dentist, she she helped me a lot the first, probably, the last three, four years. Uh, she made me a huge favor of taking out my bracelets, my bracelets. Yeah. So that, I was pretty happy with that, start using Invisiligns, which it, you, you never notice yeah, yeah. what you're using. And it makes your teeth look better. So, yeah, she's here this week, and uh, she asked me if I have some extra tickets so she can come and, and see us. So, yeah, I did that, and yeah, I'm really happy that having Chilean fans here out in LA. <laughs>
<laughs> two of them are yeah, yeah. children too. What, what, um, what do you consider your best stretch of holes you played today? Well, uh, English. I'll say yeah. I mean four, five. I mean number four. It was. I think I never made birdie there, and it was a beautiful four iron four. that I hit. Then on number five, I hit a beautiful, beautiful tee shot, great second shot, and then on number six, I hit a beautiful uh, tee shot. I thought it was gonna be really good, and he ended up probably one yard short where I wanted to land it. So, but yeah, I think. I mean, there was a lot of good stretch during the round. Hmm. Okay. Wedge on five, I guess, right? Uh, Wedge on five, I would think, right? Oh, uh, hit a nine. Nine. Okay. Soft nine. Gracias. Gracias. Thanks, Paco.